Breaking, Trump stunned New York court after plans to confront accuser in court. Former President Donald Trump has delivered a massive stunner to the New York courts, his accuser and the judge in his defamation case. Speaking to reporters in Ireland, the president said he is coming back on New York to confront his accuser E. Jean Carroll and the judge, he says, is against him. I'm here because Donald Trump raped me, and when I wrote about it, he said it didn't happen, he lied. He shattered my reputation, and I'm here to try to get my life back, she said when she took the stand on Wednesday, Mediate added, and the days before the trial started, Trump posted insults on social media that did not amuse Judge Lewis Kaplan, to say the least. Taco Pina told the court he would try to address the public postings about the case with my client. Well, I hope you're more successful, Kaplan said in response, according to Raw Story, adding that Trump may or may not be tampering with a new source of potential liability. And I think you know what I mean. In Ireland, Trump told reporters he planned to confront Carroll, who he called a disgrace, and Kaplan, who he called extremely hostile. I have to leave Ireland and I have to leave Scotland where I have great properties. I have to leave early. I don't have to, but I choose to, he said. Will you attend the trial? Mr. President, I'm probably attending, and I probably will, and I think it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace that it's allowed to happen against a rich guy, or in my case, against a famous, rich, and political person that's leading the polls by 40 points, he continued. And I have to go back for a woman that made a false accusation about me, and I have a judge who is extremely hostile, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to confront this. But this woman is a disgrace, and it shouldn't be allowed to happen in our country. You go to work, he added. In another case, a former Manhattan prosecutor has pointed out that the judge appointed to oversee District Attorney Alvin Bragg's 34-count indictment against Donald Trump should not have been given the case because of his history in dealing with the former president. New York Supreme Court Justice Juan Merchant was assigned to oversee the hush money prosecution of Trump due to his prior experience presiding over litigation involving Trump and his company. However, this history could potentially complicate the proceedings and expose Merchant to further attacks from Trump, the Wall Street Journal reported. According to sources familiar with the matter, Merchant was chosen by the court's administrative judge to oversee complex grand jury investigations into Trump and his businesses for the next two years, which led to his subsequent assignments to cases related to the investigations. Merchant is a 14-year veteran of Manhattan's criminal trial court. Since 2021, the judge has held the Trump Organization in contempt for failing to turn over documents in one probe by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. Presided over a trial in which a jury convicted the company of tax fraud and sentenced former company finance chief Alan Weisselberg to jail for tax and other offenses, the Wall Street Journal reported further, the Trump Organization has filed an appeal following the tax fraud conviction. Christopher Brennan, a former Manhattan assistant district attorney, said that if a higher court were to reverse Merchant's decision on the tax fraud conviction, it could raise concerns about his impartiality in the current criminal case against Trump. There was not a random selection of a judge in this case, and there should have been, Brennan told the paper. He actually should be the last person selected, given the potential conflict. The outlet noted further, in Justice Merchant's court in April, Mr. Trump pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts related to allegations that he falsified records to cover up a payment to porn star Stormy Daniels before the 2016 presidential election. Mr. Trump, who has waged a public campaign against the charges, has targeted Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, who brought the case, the first prosecution of a former president. But Mr. Trump has also taken several verbal jabs at the judge and his family, arguing Justice Merchant is biased against him and citing the judge's earlier rulings as proof.